Hi, Jean Curtis here with Merle Norman Cosmetics in Skipback, Pennsylvania. Just wanted to do a little video for you today because I know you've got tons of videos that you can watch on MN Connections and on our website and on YouTube that explain how to put it all on. Well, today I'm going to take it all off for you. Um, at least I'm going to do half my face anyhow. Just for time's sake, today what I want to do is introduce you to the right way to thoroughly cleanse your face and get it prepped for either nighttime or daytime makeup. Okay, so we're going to start here with this is the take it off thoroughly, this is cleanse thoroughly, and this is finish it up and polish and get any residue off for a thoroughly clean face. So here we go. I'm going to start with one of my favorite products. This is our dual action makeup remover, or eye makeup remover. What we do here, on a cotton puff, now I love, and I am prejudiced, but I love the Merle Norman cotton puffs because they're quilted and they're quick absorbing and they don't fall apart in your hands like so many of the cheese bow ones do. So I like this on a cotton puff and I'm going to work on this one side of my face. I want you to know I'm taking off many products. I have on foundation primer, eyeshadow primer, uh, CC cream, foundation, powder, lipstick, two lipsticks with a lip pencil, three eyeshadows, an eyeliner, mascara primer, and mascara. I think I got it all. And I might even have a concealer under this too with the CC cream. So I'm going to do this first. This is the eye, the dual action eye makeup remover. If you just hold it in place for just a minute, press lightly, don't kill yourself. Um, and ladies, you're gonna see my eyebrow disappear because I do have to fake it. Um, I have half an eyebrow left and that's because of <laughs> age. Um, so this comes off and there goes a good part of my eyebrow, but with the eye makeup remover, you just rub gently, downward strokes is best, and then just finish up. Look at that. It takes everything off. Just another little wipe on the other side. And did you know that your eyes are connected to your jaw? Because every time you want to do something with your eyelashes, you automatically drop your jaw. Isn't that silly? But that's what we do. Watch yourself in the mirror and see if you don't see what I mean. So there. The eye make is, make makeup is off and it doesn't leave a greasy residue like so many other products do. This is a silicone base, so you won't get that greasy feel after you've taken it off. My next favorite product for really good cleansing, Cleansing Water Makeup Remover. This is one of our newer products introduced last year. Micellar Water was introduced in Europe a couple years ago, and America's finally caught up with it. And what this does is takes off the big stuff, as we like to say. Before you wash your face and you move with your soap and your cleanser, everything around on your face, take off as much as you can. This, just a few wipes, look at that. This is taking off the makeup before you wash your face. And like I said, I'm only doing half for time's sake today. And now you're going to see the real gene. Just like I get to see you when I work on your face when you come into the studio. Something, huh? So now the big stuff is off, and then you go on to cleansing. Now we have seven, eight different cleansers that you can use uh, depending on your skin type and your preference. Uh, one of my favorites is the Foaming Normal to Dry. My skin type is Normal to Dry. I like to use this. I also like Skin Refining Cleanser. This is for shortcuts. It has a little poly bead in it that helps to tone the face as you're cleansing. And one of our tried and true um, products, this is our original Merle Norman Cleansing Cream. And yes, many ladies still use this. This formula was uh, created originally by Merle back in the 30s. It's still a great product. And many of my ladies that have been lifelong users of Merle Norman products have faces that you just can't believe their skin. It's wonderful. It conditions and does a nice job. But this is a, a, a heavy cleansing cream. These are lighter, more modern formularies. Again, for the sake of time, what I'm gonna do right now for cleansing, I'm gonna use a little towelettes that are a great, great, quick way to clean, but I don't recommend it for thorough cleaning. This is great at the gym, or if you come in from gardening and you just wanna clean up your face a little bit, but for, for getting your face completely clean, I don't recommend it because you need a little bit more than this. So you'll see a lot more still coming off, because that's what it's supposed to do. So there you have it. So now you can see why I use some of our anti-redness products because I have a lot of red in my face. And um, But we're going to start with, with cleaning today. And uh, the anti-redness video will be another one. So there we are. 
Now, what's the last and final, final step of good thorough cleansing? It's going to be toner. And again, we have many toners that you can use, again, uh, according to your skin type. Uh, I use the normal to dry toner. And this is, has AHA, the alpha hydroxy acid in it. Helps to also exfoliate a little bit. Gets deep into the cleansing, uh, into the pores. And you'll see, even though you think you have a very clean face at this moment, look at your pad and the toner takes off even more of the makeup that you think you've taken off. So take off the big stuff, the cleansing water and the dual action eye makeup up remover, and then take off the, do the cleansing with the, uh, the good cleansers of your choice, and then finish up. Again, look at that, we still have, I'm gonna do another swipe with the toner, just to make sure. Cleansing, toning, and moisturizing are the basics for good skin care. Okay, so I'm signing off for now, and I just wanna remind you, you take good care of your skin, and your skin will take good care of you. Till next time, see you around.